So the next thing that we're going to talk about is that whole assessment piece. How can you tell when a bitch in a whelping pause is okay versus when a bitch in a whelping pause is in a lot of trouble? There's a world of difference between those two entities, and you do have the ability as a dog breeder to assess and know where you're, where you're at. What are you doing? So here are the things you assess. You assess, first of all, the things you can assess just by looking at your bitch. Is she responsive to you? Is she responsive? When you say, you had the prettiest puppies in the whole wide world, you know how they act when you say that. They wag their tail and they give you their big smiles and they're real happy. Is she responding? If the answer is yes, that's part of the assessment. If the answer is no, you're in real trouble. How about her temp? Is this maybe, is maybe this whelping pause is because she's got so much, so many dead puppies and products of death, you know, dead puppies, death product. Maybe she's getting infected after so many hours. So take her temp. Is it during whelping, it should sit around 100, and the rest of the time she's in 101 to 102.5? You're, you're just going to check that temp for a fever. You're not going to worry if it's a little low because, again, in stool, it's going to be a little low. You're only looking for that temp. And if it's 103, are you going to get your panties in a twist and yell? No. You know what you're going to do? You're going to get her to drink some water. Because all during whelping, you need to keep pushing fluid, pushing fluid, pushing fluid. The one thing that seems to cause ineffective, crappy contractions across the board universally is dehydration. And you can get really dehydrated when you are that dehydrates out a dog terribly. So figure out in advance, what is it going to take to get her to drink? Does she like things like watermelon? Can you get her to take some watermelon? Can you get her to drink some water that's got some goat's milk in it? It's got that stronger flavor, and sometimes they do that. How about the vanilla ice cream? Was she okay with some of that? You want to make sure you're hydrating her. Because if she's not been hydrated all during these hours, she's getting dehydrated. Well, then you'd see the temp. So your first thought isn't, yes, let me run to the vet. Your first thought is, hey, wait a minute. How much has she been drinking? What can I do maybe to make this better? And then you fix that with hydration. 